Oh, if you're just joining us, we were just talking about how, how restaurants are apparently sitting ugly people in the back. This Jeff, is something I did story, not study. know. I did Nobody not know. Nobody knows this. I did not know. Um, I didn't even think that this would be a thing. I, I would think that it was just first come, first serve. But then I got to thinking about it, and I was like, wait a minute. Yes, this makes all the sense in the world, that they put the attractive people up front. So when you're walking by, you're like, hey, there's some good-looking people in there. I want like, I'd like to associate with good-looking people. Maybe it's intimidating to see good-looking people in there, and you're, you think you're, you're ugly. And you're like, oh, that place is too good-looking for me. i got to go somewhere where I'm going to be better-looking. I've, I've been in that boat, too, before. I'd be like, oh, I can't, I'm too underdressed to go in there. I can't go in there. Look at all the good-looking people in there. So I was just saying that I this was in Curb Your Enthusiasm in season 10, and it was one of the funnier episodes, I thought. And I, I can't believe it, but uh, I was able to find a couple of the clips from the show. I figured I'd play it for you. Um, this is uh, Larry sitting with Jeff, you know, he's big fat agent guy. And then uh, who's the other guy that's his really good friend, the, the comedian? Is Jeff Garland fat again? Well, I know he now got skinny. No, I know like like years ago. Like I'm saying like seven, eight years ago, he lost a bunch of weight. Yeah, he's not as fat as he was in the beginning, okay. but he's definitely not as thin as he got. I, it's been a while a little since bit I've watched on. Kirby Enthusiast. Anyways, and then he's sitting with his other friend that's the old guy, that's the comedian that he's always yelling and getting in arguments with. I can't remember his name. Mm. You? No, oh. like I said, it's been years. It's been years since I've seen Kirby Enthusiast. Anyways, um, so he's sitting with his friends, and they're all talking, and Larry's looking around. He's like, wait, there's something going on in this restaurant. Huh. What are you? I don't know. Something strange going on in this restaurant. Tell me. Am I crazy? Or is everyone in that section way better looking than the people in this section? Look. Look around. You are not imagining things. And now look here. It's well, like there's a good-looking section and an ugly section. What is it? You think this? it's random? Why would they do something like this? It just seems it's, it can't be a coincidence. I'd like to come here again. Without you guys. You know, <laughs> if I came here by myself, I, I wouldn't be sitting here. Why do you think you shouldn't be here? Because I, I, I know I should be in that section. You look like yeah. Einstein's gardener, for Christ's sake. You're <laughs> never going to get in there. Anyways, I don't know how far this is going to go before they start dropping F-bombs. So then later, uh, the show goes on, and then it comes back, and he shows up with um, this attractive blonde woman, who I can't think of her name off the top of my head, but she's very attractive, and she happens to walk in, first to the restaurants and uh it is going to get seated she's by herself Uh, hello we've a beautiful table for you right by the window right uh and and then larry walks in later how are you i'm i'm swell wonderful yeah so uh you were about to say we have a beautiful table for you uh right back there you're about to see her over there I, i yes but that's a table for one table for one I, I don't get that. What's the difference between a table for one and a table for two? One person. That's so interesting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, so I think I get the way it works here. If it's 50-50, uh-huh. one good-looking and one ugly, both go to the ugly. Is that how it works? Because in baseball, a tie goes to the runner. Here, a tie goes to the ugly. <laughs> Mr. David, I really do not see a difference between the good-looking and the ugly. Are you saying to me that you're going to put this beautiful woman into that section is that what you're going to do she she doesn't belong yeah sure put me there i get it okay but come on larry a table anywhere is fine no (laughs) anyways we got somebody on the line here (laughs) i would love to mess with somebody at a a nice restaurant that where you have to be sat you know what i mean not like just sit wherever you want or you know uh but where you make reservations um next time i don't know anyways hi thanks for hanging on go ahead yeah what's up uh i heard you guys are talking about that uh curb your enthusiasm episode oh uh, yeah yeah with the yeah yeah so that dude that walks in at the at the uh with that blue blazer on like at the beginning that's me and that dude they show sitting down that's me <laughs> oh really I, I don't. Yeah, really, yeah. I've, not, I've not seen this episode, so so help me out here. Um, are are you uh, then? Um, is your role in the episode of Curb Your Enthusiasm as a good looking guy? Yeah. So they pulled me out. Uh, I was playing background, and they pulled me out, and they were like, "Yo, you want to be featured?" And I was like, "Sure, man." They're like, "Are right, you going to do this? You're going to walk in, and then you're going to be featured as like the the good looking guy." And I was like, "Ah, man." Like I don't like it's do whatever, you, but do you roll at the end of the credits as good looking guy? No, they don't credit background at all. Oh so, man. So <laughs> yeah, kind of sucks I mean, I everything think I've ever done. You obviously so I've been have in like a hundred You obviously have a role in that show, and that role is the fact that you're the good looking guy. I mean, you should have at least got credited on that episode. 
Yeah, yeah. Well, that's the thing about background is they don't they don't credit you. So I've been in like a hundred TV shows last year, never been credited once. Ugh, that's terrible. It's a <laughs> it's a great it's episode. How it is, and you know and you're mean? the good looking guy. I mean, you should have got some calls after that, right? <laughs> I'm not trying to do any of that. I don't, I'm not like that. Like in real life, you know, I'm not like, oh, look at me. I'm not. I'm not like that at all. I'm like, oh, I would be. I don't if give a I, fuck about if, any of that. If I was but, the guy, <laughs> if I was the guy that was uh, pulled out of the crowd and said, "Hey, we need a good-looking guy. Uh, we got to sit you at the front of the restaurant," um, I would be telling that would be my pickup line all the time. I'd be like, uh, "You know, you ever seen that episode of Curb Your Enthusiasm? Yeah, Blue Boys your guy. That's me." <laughs> nah, it's just weird. Like, uh, it's funny. I put it on my Instagram or whatever, but. <laughs> I, I don't like to like say it because it, it makes people think some type of way about you and like they have some kind of preconceived notion about like oh you really think that because you're in this show it's like nah man it's not it's not like that who cares man you only but, live I mean, once yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what people are thinking about yeah, me yeah I just I wasn't raised like that to think like that so hey, I don't you know did just, you get a chance to meet uh, Larry David no we didn't you're not so also as background you're not allowed to to uh, approach the the people that are principal actors you, yeah, you can't yeah, yeah. you can't say anything to them. the stars you can't so talk to them, yeah. you, you, especially with larry david like i'm not going to go up to him and be like yo what up larry like <laughs> no i realize that but i figured maybe at some point they might have you know brought him out and he said you know said hey the you know my he might have said hello or something like that you know not during the scene but at another time but yeah I guess- so he is actually one of the only people that sat like in the same room as everybody else in eight like in the lunchroom you know what i mean Oh, really? Oh, really? Yeah. So that was cool. Like, he's not, he was, like, down to earth like that. You know why? And, like, a lot of a lot of the actors won't do that. They won't, you know like, why? sit in the same room. Or... Yeah, because it was a free lunch and he's cheap. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not what's going on at all, bro. All right, man. He's all right. He's a funny, he's a funny guy. See you later. All right, later. Uh, 805 Beer Text Line, Chris, who we just got off the phone with, says, uh, well, I was not raised to be that kind of guy. Uh, you guys can go ahead and uh, throw my name out there if you'd like, because I'm not one to toot my own horn. So uh, he says his last name is Blunt. So whatever that means. All right. Chris Blunt, you get credit on the Jeff and Jeremy of the Morning Show. Not on the episode of Curb Your Enthusiasm that you were on, but we'll give you credit for contributing to the show. Just next time you get, I know we're in a pandemic and you can't go to restaurants and, you know, it's going to be weird for a while, unfortunately. Yeah, but keep this in the back of your mind. Next keep time it, you, uh, yeah, next time we're full go again and you get seated somewhere and say, why, why do I feel, why am I getting sitting, why am I being sat in the back of the restaurant? I would like to sit in the front of the restaurant. Tomorrow, football. Do you like the fact that we get three games a day? I like that a lot. Um, this is something that the NFL, this is not a COVID change. This is a change that the NFL is going to make regardless. So this is something that we get for the future. Uh, I don't know if I really like it or not. I mean, I plan on doing some stuff in the morning. I plan on watching the Seahawks game in the afternoon. I think it's like one thirty or something like 440. that. 4.40. Is it? Is it? Wait, I'm I, glad you're talking about. The, it's one forty right our now. time. It's one forty our time. It's oh, no, it's yeah. it's not. It's not. Uh, you're you're you've got you're on East Coast time. You got to be careful when you look at these games if they're putting it in East Coast or yeah. um, West Coast happy time. About that Most of all. them come out in West Coast time, but it says one forty p.m. here in the red zone does accommodate to our time zone where we're at. So oh, I'm not happy about that. At I'm all. really sorry. But anyways, I made uh, plans to watch middle, it at, middle of the day at four forty tomorrow. Yeah, you're gonna have to watch it at one forty tomorrow. Hmm. What? What do you got going on tomorrow? That's nothing. It just means I'll have to shift anything that I had going on in the morning to you know. I mean, do your thing in the morning. You get till one o'clock. Yeah, but that means I'm gonna have to get up earlier. I wanted to sleep in tomorrow. I wanted to, tomorrow to be a day of. You rest. can sleep in. I was excited by a four forty time. Plus, 
I could get my drink on during the game a lot better if it's 440 versus 130. If I get past 6 o'clock, it's amazing on the, on the weekends. That's not sleeping in for me. My daughter, I normally get up at 4. My daughter asked if she could watch the game with me tomorrow. And I was like, yeah, that's 17, yeah. that's 16 games already this season. Where were you for one of those that didn't have as much bearing as tomorrow? Mm, she's a fair weather fan. <laughs> Well, she knows it's a big deal, and that's why she wants to be a part of it. Yeah, and I was like, "Yeah, sure." So she wants me to teach her the game of football while I'm watching the wild card uh, matchup between the Los Angeles Rams and no. the uh, Wow Seattle that's gonna Seahawks. Drive, that's yeah. going to drive you nuts. I know it's like asking her to <laughs> when she asks me, hey, "Can you take me golf sometime?" <laughs> well, she's seven years old. So her attention span for football has got to be maybe ten minutes. I know. So it'll be the first 10 minutes of the game, and then she'll probably want to go do something Let's hope else. so. Let's hope so. She's definitely, this is a transition age, and she might try to stick into it. Boy, I'd like to be a fly on the wall she in might lean room in room tomorrow. If she's happens. leaning in, man. Oh, gosh. <laughs> My mom, I just realized that during Christmas, she does this thing that she's probably always done, but, you know, she'll sit down, and we're all watching a movie. No one has seen the movie before, and she's at, what do you, why do you think he did that? I'm like... I don't know. We're all watching the same movie. Never seen it before. And she narrates them. Oh my gosh. I want my, I want my daughter and your mom to sit down and watch <laughs> a movie together because my daughter does the same exact thing. And, and she always like, what's that mean? Because it's like some of the <laughs> contents adult and over her head. And I, I, I'm trying to watch the, the movie or the show and I'm like, uh, I'll explain later. It's tough. And then I, I always forget, you know, the pause button does work. I can pause. Stop down, but then that's going to break up everybody else in the room. Yeah, and it kind of ruins momentum and things like that. So, oh, okay. So what we should do is we have not made our picks yet. Um, uh, I'm, I'm wondering where you are at with the um, the picks of the football games for tomorrow as, and Sunday, as all games will be played this weekend. Tampa Bay, Washington, really the night game. That's a Tom Brady thing. That makes me so mad. Because why wouldn't you play the West Coast game as the night game as opposed to a game that's going to be played on the East Coast? You're going to play a game in Washington, D.C., and you're going to kick that game off at 8.15? 8.15. Yeah, the game's not going to be over till midnight. On the East Coast, yeah, yeah. it's not. And, and But it's a Tom Brady thing. You, they want to put Tom Brady in, in prime time, and I hope he gets We'll come back and make our picks. <laughs> well, he's the biggest. Well, one of the biggest favorites on the weekend is the is the Bucks over Washington. It's right now in the red zone challenge. I don't have Vegas numbers in front of me, but I guess I'll dig them up and we'll, and we'll come back and we'll make our picks. Okay. Okay, we'll do that. So the, we'll, uh, we'll 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 run them all down. There's six games this weekend: three tomorrow, three on Sunday, and um, well, I'm sorry, is there seven games? No, there's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, there's six. And then, of course, if you win this week, your points double. So this is really important to make your picks. And to you know, when you want to get that upset pick is this week, because this will launch you further up the list so you'll have a better shot at winning that $500 cash we're giving away, maybe that trip to Hawaii, and, of course, $25 to Coast Coast Coffee Graders. At night. You play the West Coast games at night. So the rest of the country can be involved in it. There's only one West Coast game. Uh, and they put it out at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> well, 1 o'clock our time and 4 o'clock uh, East Coast time. Stupid. Uh, You're a great dad. Thanks, Vicky. Um, the, but, Vicky, okay. you have to understand this has not happened yet. He doesn't want it to happen. <laughs> He's feeling forced into it. She was asking me what defense was yesterday, which made me really uh, get scared about the fact that she has maybe uh, studied up on this a little bit and will be with me more than uh, 5 to 10 minutes of the game. Uh, so hopefully we just get it out of the way in the beginning. Now, I know you want to get to football and stuff like that, but I swear, when we just played Foreigner, and I've been bugging you with this during the music, but I want people to hear the similarities between Hot-Blooded and Lick It Up. I thought we were playing Lick It Up, and you go into uh, This Is Foreigner, and I was like, oh, no, I think Jeremy's saying that we're playing the wrong song, but it was definitely Foreigner, which, you know, Hot-Blooded came out before Lick It Up. And Kiss is one Are you of, trying to say Kiss stole Kiss, Kiss it might the riff? Be, they might claim to be one of the greatest rock bands of all time. They might claim that. But then Foreigner is probably like, well, yeah, you couldn't have done it with us. Listen to this. Oh. There you go. I think I'm playing. I think I'm... Okay, that's that. 
I guess I didn't get hot blood played. Sorry, this is live radio. I like that. That's one of my. I like. No, look it up. It's a great song. Like, look, look, it up. look it up. It's a great song. And you know what? My favorite, Probably favorite. could not have taken place if it wasn't for hot blooded. <laughs> Wait. Oh, this sounds like a train wreck. You know what? If you took the guitar out and in, in hot blooded, you took the guitar out like. Mm-hmm. And you just had the back riff going? Okay. It's exactly the same. Now, granted, I did not have enough time to match these beats exactly, but you get the point in what I'm talking about. Here, hold on a second. Stop, you kiss. Uh, go hot-blooded. Let's go kiss. Wait, wait, just stop them all for a second. Can you match them in your in your program? No, you play the lick it up. I'm going to play the kiss. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry. Right, we'll You're going to play kiss. I'm going to play, play hot Okay. Okay. Now start with kiss. Just the beginning of it. Okay. I I just got to make sure I get it queued up. Okay. All Go right. ahead. Oh no, we're not going to do it at the same time. Why not? Why, why wouldn't we do it at the same time? We can, but hold on. Just just trust okay. me. Just play it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. you go first. Oh, sorry. Are we the worst DJs no, in no, the no. damn world? I'm, Can so, we not do this on the The problem right is I'm playing off of YouTube. And, 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 oh, okay. I'm, and, All right. So I'm not. All yeah, right. You're, so. You actually have a real professional player that All you're right. playing off All right. Of. Here we go. You go now. <laughs> <laughs> and this is what Paul Stanley would say, or Gene Simmons. <laughs> well, ours is different because you, you notice, you notice that, that whole... <laughs> That real—that's what makes ours different. <laughs> Everything's a ripoff. Oh wow! <laughs> okay, we gotta get—we gotta get to our picks. Aaron's standing by. Um, do we do that now? Or do we take a break and get to our picks? Uh, well, I mean, we are kind of running a little bit late because we had a digression of foreigner and kiss. Sorry. We're here to talk about the music. Isn't that what the consultants want us to do, Jeremy? Yes. They, talk about the music. It is very talk important about to talk about Kiss the music. blatantly ripped off Foreigner. All right, so we'll come back. We'll run down the picks again. Um, just our, 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 our two cents <laughs> on how we think that what's going to happen. Man, I do have, do, this, I have, is, this is Gene's conversation with Paul. Man, I, if we could just do something like that hot-blooded, that would be great. <laughs> I do have two upsets, by the way, in my picks. I, I don't do you have any upsets. I do. I right, we'll see ups. if we have the same upsets, all right? Stick around. We'll Jeff back. and Jeremy in the morning. <laughs> Just kidding.